what we're doing is looking for a tree suitable for making snowshoes. So we're in a, a mixed sugar maple and white ash stand. There's about an acre of it here on the side of a drumlin at Ross Farm. And we're going to cut a tree to make some snowshoes this weekend. This is a white ash here, which is is nice and straight grained, as you can see. Those little valleys in the bark are running fairly straight. I would not choose this one for one reason, and that is right there. If you can see that that whirl, there's a big knot that's been covered. So if you were making snowshoes under, if you needed a piece of wood under, say, seven feet, that would work. What we're cutting is nine foot for snowshoes the size of what I have on. So we're taking a piece at least nine feet long. So that would not be one that I would choose. But there are some really nice ones back here. This is mostly all sugar maple through here with, with white ash amongst it and over the last 10 years we've been removing them so that the sugar maple could get established better and we'll maybe set up a, a sugar bush down the road. So we by taking a couple out every year then you're not opening it up too much and the trees are still nice and sturdy and don't blow out. There are some good ash in here. This one here would be suitable for snowshoes, but it's massive. This thing's about 14 inches across. The only way we're taking the one we're choosing out today is on our back, so we're going to have to fall it, split it, and maybe quarter it. This one here would be too large. And if you were making, you know, 20 pair of snowshoes, you could use that one. This one here would be more suitable. This is about 10 inches across. It's nice and straight for at least 10 feet. So we'll drop that hopefully down in there and we'll split it and probably quarter it. And then I'll carry that up to the workshop to, to make into frames. And I'll come back down for the remainder. And what's left of the top, we will come down later and use it, cut it up and use it for firewood. So we'll be... We'll be notching it with a an axe. This is an ox head. They've been made in Germany for pretty near or over 200 years. They're really good, good quality axe, nice and thin, and good steel. So they're a great axe if you're looking to purchase one. And we'll we'll saw it down with a buck saw, hopefully. It's going to take a bit, but this saw was smaller to carry than a crosscut saw, so. That's what we'll use. First thing I'm going to do is remove some of these old dead ones so that I can uh, hopefully get that down close to the ground.
Perfect. Made a wedge so I can put it in here so that won't fold up and pinch my blade when I'm finishing it off here. quarter that and then carry it out. Throw that on my shoulder, strike it.
Okay, all works out well. There'll be two pairs of snowshoes in this piece.